Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to operate on the neonatal transport system. The one we are having, it is for Dragos TI-500. The standard features that we are having is the mechanical ventilator, a transport incubator, a modular frame, an accessory shelf, and we have the suction pump. With the mechanical ventilator, we have the oxygen analyzing system and we have the air oxygen blender. And in our system, we are having an accessory uh, option of air compressor, which provides us with medical grade air. Now let's start operating the system. So we start by pre-warming our transport incubator, but we have to first make sure that our system is plugged in so that we don't utilize the battery that would help us during our transport. So we will switch on the transport incubator by pressing the on button. The system is going to do a self test that is around seven seconds. It tests for the sensor, airflow, the power and the temperature. Now we can set the desired temperature for the transport incubator by setting the temperature over here. And when you see the green light, you are unable to increase or decrease the desired temperature. Now this part is for the baby temperature and this would tell you the baby's body temperature which is sensed by the uh, sensor inside that I would show you later on. Now coming to the second part, switching on the mechanical ventilator. We would start by opening the uh, gas flow. We have two gas cylinders and also you can connect your transport system to the uh, gas inside the ambulance but we are going to use for now the gas cylinders we are going to open it you can see we have to rotate the knob and you have the directions where to open and where to close now once the gas cylinder is opened we are going to open the ventilator source by turning this knob to on side and then we are going to switch on the air compressor. The air compressor as described before would provide us with medical grade air. The flow meter we have two uh, meters. Of course we're going to use one of them. Each one would provide us up to 10 liters of flow. We are going to start with six liters and you can increase up to eight depending upon the chest rise of the patient. Setting the flow then we have the amount of percentage of oxygen we require usually we start with 60 percent we have two modes the controlled mechanical ventilation mode and we have the CPAP mode according to whether the patient is able to self breathe or not we are going to use the mode accordingly for controlling the controlled mechanical ventilation mode we have to set two parameters one is the positive and expiratory pressure or the PEEP and the peak inspiratory pressure or the PIP so you can see we have the pressure gauge and we can see the PEEP is set around 3. So we can increase the PEEP to the desired. Usually we keep it at 5 or 4 depending upon the uh, whether the patient is preterm or term. And then we can increase the peak inspiratory pressure or decrease it according to our needs. We usually start at 12. You can see the, the gauge is pointing at 12. To control the respiratory rate, we have two nodes. We have the inspiratory time and we have the expiratory time. Usually we keep the inspiratory time between 0.35 seconds to 0.4 seconds. So we can start by 0.4 second and we keep the expiratory time at 0.6. So total we have a cycle of one second. This would provide us with 60 breaths per minute. To decrease the respiratory rate, you can increase the expiratory time to the desired. For the CPAP mode, we are going to switch down the button and you can see that there is no peak inspiratory pressure given, only we have a peep. So we can increase it or decrease it according to our needs. So if the patient does not need any support of pressures, he just needs an oxygen, so you can use this port. This port can supply the patient with up to 15 liter per minute of blended oxygen. 
we can set it at one liter two liter three liter according to the desired and you control the amount of percentage of oxygen you need after setting the transport temperature and the mechanical ventilation mode we are going to check our circuit so we have the red tubing that is used for the expiratory part and the green one for the inspiratory and this part is for creating the pressure and you can see the test lung is inflating now depending upon the chest tries you can increase the tip accordingly i hope you found the video useful thank you for watching spread knowledge